So today in this new deco video, I go back to my lampshades I had started a few months ago and I have recycled all lampshades I had. So I didn't do them entirely and I'm absolutely not a lampshade specialist. I'm a paper magician and I just wanted to quickly give a new life to these old lampshades. I had ones which belonged to an old chandelier, ceiling chandelier, and I just decorated already one of them for my living room lamp, one of my living room lamp. And I have others too, which were simple, sometimes broken lampshades, sometimes they had some stains. I had bought also a few beautiful lamps in our French Craigslist, Le Bon Coin, and they were already stained, so I had to do something with them. And I decided to uh, dress them with my paper, with my paper techniques. But for that, there are a few things I need to tell you if you are inspired and you want to do the same or something similar. They are quite nice things to know before you start. So the first important thing is I'm just decorating, dressing them with paper, with craft paper and mulberry paper I use as they are the two papers I only use in my artwork. So I obviously took inspiration in, from my own technique, my own paper techniques I created and I wanted to use them also for this purpose, this decorative purpose. So I didn't remove the fabric part which were already there in my old lampshades. I only added on top of it and I glued it. So there is no problem with any heat, whatever sort of light bulbs you choose to use. For my old lamps I bought, I can't for the moment use any new light bulbs. I have to use old ones with all systems we had here in France. I'm not sure it's the same every, in every country, but those usually are not really uh, used for new lamps you buy in shops nowadays. But for that, I can only use light bulbs which are quite warm. So I need to be careful with that. And of course, my paper, all the paper parts I use are not touching the light bulbs in any way. Absolutely not. So there is no problem with that. Now, of course, if I use some new light bulbs which are really not warm at all, there would be, of course, absolutely no problem. But even with my old light bulbs, there is no problem either because I'm still keeping my fabric thing on top of it and I'm only dressing the outer part of it. So with paper, of course, there are many, many possibilities. You can do so many things. I'm just going to show you and to share with you a few things you need to know if you want to do that. You can do some ruffles, you can do some really crazy things. For my case, I wanted to do something pretty discreet because I'm going to do in all the rooms for my bedroom, my fairy tale living room and my atelier. I'm going to do other decors on the walls, on the doors and on a lot of other things. So I didn't want to have two spectacular lamps of course, if you want to put a lot of effort and time and energy in your lampshades, you can do that. I'm not going to do that because they are going to be just a detail of a bigger picture. So I didn't want to put too much energy on that. So the lampshade I did on my living room, this one just behind me, it took me one day, one full day to do it. And the two lampshades I had made for my bedroom, I had decorated. It took me also one day to do them. So just have to know that it takes a bit of time, though it doesn't look like it, but it takes a bit of time to do that. So for the deco and the techniques I chose, I use the techniques I share in the elephant doll workshop and the wardrobe for an elephant, which is a workshop about paper cloth. And I just use the techniques I share in this workshop. So I'm not going to share all of them here, just showing you the principle. In case you are in a wall in these workshops, you will have some ideas on other things you can do with all these techniques and not only using them for your elephant or your paper costumes. So they work really well uh, for lampshades and there are so many variations and possibilities you can do with them uh, for lampshades, taking advantage of the light and the light bulbs behind the lampshades themselves. 
So I chose to use some leftovers of the Lefandol workshop, which were the diamond paper. I used them for my small lampshade, my, my ceiling chandelier lampshade. And I also made another one for my bigger lampshade I have behind me using the same technique and also using my paper deco around it uh, to create a nice contrast with the light. And for the bedroom, I use some stripes and some paper lace stripes, which I really love. And this comes from also the paper costumes workshop, the World Warp for an Elephant. It's a technique I love using. I created this technique many years ago and I, I think it works really well for a lampshade too. Something important to consider when you want to do or to decorate a lampshade is to have something pretty, a lampshade which is pretty when it's not lighted and to have a very funny unexpected result when the night comes and you have of course to use your lamps. I think it's something really nice to think, to think about. You have to imagine that your lampshade has to be pretty as it is during the day. Uh, during the daylight and when the night comes it has to be quite spectacular and pretty taking advantage of the light. So there are a few things which are nice to use and some which are a bit less interesting to use. You need to work in a pretty transparent way. So for my papers I painted there I used a very translucent transparent way but using a lot of water and I only use some thick layer for patterns I know would be dark when the light would be on. So that's something you have to think about playing with the opaque and dark parts which would be made with a very thick layer or with thick paper you would add as a decor on top of it. It wouldn't be for example very smart to use a very thick layer covering craft paper or whatever paper you want to choose. In my case I only use transparent translucent techniques for that so that I would play and the pattern would be sort of enhanced by the light coming behind it. So how to glue this paper, how to attach them to the lampshade structure maybe you already have. So in my case, I only use wood glue. I don't work with any other sort of glue, the, the gun glue or all these things. They, maybe they work well, I don't know. I don't want to use them. I like to stay with my very simple basic supplies and I think wood glue works really well for that. I only glued it though at the edges of the lampshade. That's something very important. 
However, you use your glue, it's going to be dark when the light is on. So you have to think about that. You want to keep that for the edges so that you won't have any glue stain at the center of the lampshade, which would be a bit strange and uh, wouldn't be very pretty. So I didn't add any glue at the center of the lampshade at all. It was only, uh, it was only applied at the top and at the bottom. And you can see for my big living room lampshade, I made this mistake. I wasn't really, I wasn't very smart here. When you have a lampshade which has already a joint uh, on the back, it's quite smart to have the same one for your paper, the paper parts you are using so that it's going to be pretty invisible. And here you can see through the light, you can tell there are the two joints, the fabric joint and the paper joint, which are next to each other and it's not very pretty. So I'm going to put that on the back so we won't see it too much. So how to paint them, how to use acrylic. So I use some acrylic for both my mulberry paper and my craft paper, which are both interesting in a different way. The only thing is I keep a very translucent layer using a lot of water because I want to have very light lamp shades. Obviously, I want to still be able to use my lamps for their purpose. So another thing you need to take into account when you do, when you want to decorate a lampshade and use a pattern like the diamond pattern or some stripes, you absolutely need to take into account the shape of your lampshade, of course. So here I did a sort of paper pattern just to have an idea of the shape and how I would organize my decor, my pattern, my, my diamond pattern on this paper. So this is the pattern I have chosen to do, which is really inspired by the pattern we do in the Elephant Doll Workshop. So this is the same technique. If you are enrolled in the Elephant Doll Workshop, you can really use that for the, using it for a lampshade. Now there is something I need to tell you. I totally improvised my pattern. I didn't really organize all the shape very, very well. And you can tell I had to cheat at few places because I couldn't organize all my diamond shapes really well. You really have to do some circles. Otherwise, if you want to do everything straight, it doesn't work well. For a shape which is in circle like that, which is the shape of a lampshade, you really need um, you really need to create a sort of circle. No line can be straight. They all have to be slightly round. And I didn't do that entirely everywhere, so that's why I have this result. But it's going to work. And now I'm going to readjust it. Probably cut a bit there. Glue. Add my glue on the edges. Try to be pretty discreet there. I will remove a bit of that. And I will do few decors as I have done for my other lampshade uh, on each side, on each edge, just to have something really pretty. And I will do other sort of little decor also on few diamonds, just to have something really interesting with the light um, of the light bulb under it.
So I still have other lampshades to finish. I'm going to finish them a little later this month or next month, but I'm already happy with the first ones I made. You're going to see those in my next deco videos, just if you want to see other ideas or things you can do, uh, they are going to appear in the next video. But here, I need another one for my living room and it's going to be a sort of variation of the ones I previously done because I want to keep this apricot pink color uh, for my living room. So I hope you enjoyed this video and that it inspired you maybe to give a new life to your own lampshades. You see there are so many things you can do. I think it's really sad when you have a lampshade which is a little broken, maybe not clean. You saw on my, on my living room lampshade, it was pretty broken inside, it was in a very, very good shape. But there are always something you can do to hide that and to give a new life to these objects instead of putting them to the trash. I think there is always a really nice and smart thing to do with them. If you want to dive deeper in my paper techniques, you can of course join my online workshops, the elephant doll workshop, the wardrobe for an elephant, which is a workshop about paper clothes or whatever workshop you want, little characters. There is a nice collection of workshops and maybe you will find something which would be interesting for you. I would be happy to see you here. For now, I leave you here, I go back to my own artwork. I have a mountain of things to do after having worked on these lampshades. I go back to my goats and I will come back soon with another decor video because there are a lot of things I need to share with you. Thank you for your comments, your encouragements, and I see you soon.